friend of mine has a four-year-old granddaughter who was explaining to her the nativity and the wise men. And she said, on the night that Jesus was born, wise men appeared carrying gifts of gold, fancy scents, and gerb. Now, I like that, especially because I don't know what frankincense and myrrh are anyway, so you may as well call it fancy scents and gerb. But the question I want to address today is less about gold and fancy scents and gerb and more about who are these wise men? Who are these guys that came from the East bearing these gifts? The wise men have long been venerated in the Christian church, and from the third century onwards, they had names, or at least they were believed to have names of Balthasar, Melchior, and Gaspar. But who were they, and where did they come from? Well, scholars think it's most likely that they came from Arabia, where gold is mined, and fancy scents and gur grow on trees there. And so they came from Arabia and they were following the stars to see this new king that had been born because they'd read it in the stars. Now, our nativity scenes imply that the wise men would have been there on the same night as the shepherds along with the star that had led them there, but that's unlikely. The Bible records that they went first to King Herod to ask him, where is this one who's been born king of the Jews? We've seen a star in the east and we've come to worship him. Now, following the counsel of his own advisors, Herod sent them to Bethlehem, but not before quizzing them thoroughly about who this might be. You see, Herod was paranoid and he would have wanted to know everything that he could about this new rival to his throne. Now, all of this tech took time. And if it happened on the night of Jesus' birth, well, it would have been a really, really long night. It's far more likely that the wise men, the Magi, the Magi, they arrived sometime later, even as late as a period of time when Jesus would have been a toddler and Mary and Joseph would have been settled into a home. As I said, the nativity is a combination of several different Bible stories all rolled into one. Uh, the star, though, came later, and so did the wise men with their gifts. Now, when we read the Bible, we sometimes get led astray because we're looking for specifics and details. But I hope you've realized by now that there's a lot of stuff in the nativity that is based on some pretty sketchy details, and we fill in the blanks with our Western imagination. But what's less important than the details is who they were coming to worship and the fact that they'd been reading the signs in the heavens. These Arabian kings were what I think of as a combination of astronomers and astrologers. They studied the movement of the planets just like astronomers do today, but just like astrologers do, they studied those planets as a way of understanding the times, of discerning what God was up to. They believed that by following the stars and studying the movements of the stars that they'd be able to understand what was going on in the world. The wise men read the signs of the times and they knew that God was doing something new. So the question I want to put to you today for wise men and wise women today is what is God doing now? Where are the signs of our times so what does it mean, for example, that the world seems to be heading inexorably to irreversible and devastating climate change? What, what is that all about? Or you might ask yourself, well, what is this pandemic actually about? What, what kind of sign, if it is that, what kind of sign is it? And what does it mean? You can also ask those questions on a more personal basis, like what's going on in your life? What's the state of your relationships? What's the state of your health or the state of your, uh, or your work? What are you thinking about? The thing to do is to take a lesson from the wise men. They came from a long distance away and they brought gifts that were very valuable. They made sacrifices because they saw what was going on in the heavens and they knew it was important to them to follow up on that. So take some time this week to reread the story of the wise men. You can read about it in Matthew chapter two. 
just read the story and then think about it in terms of what is God saying to you. What's, what are the signs of the times in your life? Perhaps God is calling you to repentance. Jesus was actually the Savior who has come to save us from our sins. Perhaps God is calling you to a deeper relationship of trust and faith. Perhaps God is calling you into faith for the very first time. Who knows? Only you can answer that question. The key, though, is the wise men, they discerned that something was up. And so they got up and they moved at great personal sacrifice. They headed west to Bethlehem, carrying gifts of gold, fancy scents, and germ. So ask yourself, where are you going this Christmas? And what kind of gifts are you going to bring to the new king? And by the way, a big thanks to my pal Rosie for her help in understanding this story. And who knows, Rosie, maybe if you're good, Santa Claus will bring you some gur for Christmas. See you next time. Bye.